Okay, everyone, today we're going to make a video showing teachers how they can use uh, a Canvas feature known as appointment groups. What appointment groups allow you to do is set off a block of time and have students book appointments with you, um, either by themselves or in groups. Um, really useful tool, especially for that Monday asynchronous time when we have these huge blocks. And I know for me as a teacher, it helps being able to plan my day and knowing when I'm going to have meetings and when I don't will be super useful. So from the dashboard, I'm going to go over here to calendar. You'll notice that I didn't pick a course first. You don't have to do that right now. Uh, you can go straight from dashboard, global navigation, calendar. And then once we get into the calendar, we'll pick our course. So the course that I'm going to work with today is NEM kids. Uh, so that I'm not messing with any actual students or teachers. So NEM kids, and then I'll pick a day. So let's say tomorrow's the 14th and I want to have uh, a time slot where I can meet with students. So I'm going to go up here to create new event and I'll let it load and I'm going to choose appointment group. So I'm going to call this office hours with dad. You would probably not call it that. Uh, I'm going to say location will be in the kitchen. You are not going to meet in my kitchen, but you get the point. I'm going to pick the date. It's uh, Monday, September 14th is when we're going to do this. And I'm going to host these from 8 a.m. till uh, 1130 a.m. Um, I'm going to divide the times. I don't need to meet with my kids for that long. Uh, let's say 10 minutes and I'm gonna click go. This is really important when you're adjusting from the 30 minutes after you change the time, you need to click go. You'll notice what it does when I click go is it creates all these time slots, which is beautiful. Um, I'm gonna select my calendar. I'm gonna put it on the Nemkins calendar. The Nemkins calendar won't be an option there if I didn't check it over here first. So that's why I did that. Um, I'm going to limit each time slot to one user. I don't want to meet with them in groups because in groups they won't get along. Um, you might have other reasons for limiting it, but you could limit it to two or three or four. You could have no limit or you could pick one, obviously. Allow students to see who has signed up for time slots that are still available. I'm not going to check that. I think you would use this if you're meeting with groups like, and so say, you know, uh, Sally and Jimmy um, are in a group with Bob and Bob goes to book an appointment. He'll be able to see that Sally and Jimmy already booked an appointment at, at 8.30 a.m. or whatever. So you can pick and choose whether or not you want to check that. And uh, I won't limit the participants to uh, one appointment. I'll limit them to five. You can have no limit. You can have, you know, you can make whatever appointment you want. Um, and so there's that. I don't need to put any details there. I click publish. And that's it. What's great now is when the kids see it, and this will be in a subsequent video, when the students log in over here on the right, they'll have a button where they can choose find appointments. They pick it and it shows up on your screen. I went in as one of my kids and reserved an appointment. So let me just refresh the screen here. And when that relo reloads, what you'll be able to see is that of all these available unreserved appointments, I'll be able to see the appointment that was made. You can see it's no longer grayed out. I can click onto that appointment and see that Madison made it. Uh, she wrote, can't wait to meet with you about my allowance. Um, I could send a message to her. I could change the attendees and I could delete the appointment if I needed to or edit the time. Great, useful tool for teachers and students, I think. Uh, part two of this video will come out showing students exactly how to book that appointment. So if you're going to use this, I would suggest you watching this part and show them the video that I'm going to make for them. Thanks, everybody.